we will find that every time there is a big fluctuation in the market, there are many big users or institutions on the chain, such as the Ethereum Foundation during the recent downtime, who will transfer large amounts of assets onto the exchange. Does this mean that tracking the on-chain data will raise the bar for small investors, such as the ordinary traders? What do you think about how they can use this on-chain data tracking to do some risk control for trading or trading services? First of all, smart money is not always right. We have also learned that many smart money tradings are in losses rather than necessarily in profits. This includes organizations like the Ethereum Foundation, which Jackie mentioned earlier, as well as Sun Yuchin's selling of Ethereum at a high price. Over the long term, their sales may have been relatively high points. If we extend the time horizon further, we cannot see the length and cycle of their holding of ETH, and we cannot determine if they are selling ETH for other purposes. Therefore, simply looking at the data of so-called smart money on the chain does not seem to be helpful for many investors. Perhaps the approach of smart money may not be suitable for all of us, such as when many friends open their tradings. They like to open a second layer of tickets at the strike price, just like stacking layers one after another. Oftentimes we see smart money, but we may not see its second or third layer, or we may not see how long it has been holding, or how much it costs to hold. These things may be difficult to see, but just based on the level of trading, we may easily get ourselves involved. So the first question, I'm not necessarily recommending that everyone look at this so-called smart money, but tracking smart money isn't necessarily a bad thing. Does a large amount of money currently flowing into a certain cryptocurrency create a shock? Secondly, I actually think it's very important for everyone to look at unlocked data. For example, like before the OP, we are very clear that the OP appeared before the unlocking. Or before another token unlocks, we can see a large amount of tokens transferred to the exchange. This behavior is indeed easy to occur in selling situations. For example, SUI, we all know that this will have an impact on its price in this situation. The best tool is still the data on the chain. You can find tool-related software on Twitter and various channels where there are many specialized tools dedicated to this topic. Through these tools, it can be relatively clearly seen which bets may be transferred to the exchange, and especially this type of data that is transferred to the exchange is the most important to focus on because it is in public view and may be used to sell off. At this time, we need to have a good control over our position and the distribution of bets within the entire project. Secondly, on the blockchain, personally, I prefer to use glass notes because on the data level, firstly, I am very sensitive to blockchain data, and secondly, I am more concerned about the transfer of funds, especially US dollar-denominated stablecoins, the overall value of main stablecoins, and their purchasing power, both of which are very important to me. We now know that whether it is any virtual currency, the occurrence of price fluctuations, including the entire risk and market fluctuations, is necessarily driven by money. When the money flowing into a market is constantly flowing out, although it cannot be said that the market will definitely fall, it may even be low or even decrease. In addition, we see that the overall purchasing power is in a downward trend. At this time, we know that whether it is BTC, ETH, or even LTC, the amount of money flowing into and the sustained purchasing power are declining. In this situation, the total volume of market value and even the entire virtual currency market trend are not necessarily very optimistic.